as I was listening to Temple speak, I suddenly had a memory. I remember uh, many years before I established the Agape International Spiritual Center, I was on a, a hiatus. I was up at Big Bear on a, on a kind of a private meditation uh, moment, meditation retreat. And I was sitting outside meditating, and suddenly a scroll rolled out of the sky, and it said, Michael Beckwith to speak at this church, and then rolled up and disappeared. And so I wrote about it in my journal. I thought it was cute, and I went on with my meditation. And so when I got home, the phone rang, and there was this gentleman on the phone named Bill, and he said, we want you to come speak at our church. And I said, I know, I saw the scroll. <laughs> And he said, what are you talking about? I said, well, never mind. And I said, uh, are you aware that I'm not a minister? I wasn't a minister at the time. He said, yes, we are. I said, are you aware I'm not a practitioner at this? I wasn't, I hadn't, wasn't licensed as a practitioner yet. He said, yes, we are. I said, well, why are you asking me to speak? He said, well, we met you at the Asilomar Conference Ground. We, we loved your vibration, your frequency. We loved what you were saying. And we don't have a minister right now. And we want you to come do the talk. So I said, Okay. So when I hung up the phone, I got so nervous. I wanted to call him back and tell him, I'm going to have the flu that day. <laughs> I, will, I will not be able to do it. And uh, so I was nervous and I was shaking. I was scared. I said, what am I doing? I can't go out here. What am I going to talk about? I don't have any degrees. I don't, I, I, I don't, God, what am I going to say? And so I laid on the couch and, and I was nervous and I suddenly I left my body and I was soaring. And I could see Michael on the couch. And I was soaring, and I was full to overflowing with divine confidence. The dynamic peace was flowing through me. Intelligence was flowing through me. And the next moment, I was back body conscious again. And I was nervous, and I was upset. So, oh, what am I going to do? i got to go speak. I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to do this. And then I was flying again. And I looked back, and I said, that Michael, he gets so nervous. <laughs> Doesn't he understand yet that? And the moment I said the word that, I was back in the body, and I was nervous again. Subsequently, I went up. There was Tacoma Church of Religious Science, first church I ever spoke in. And so subsequently, I went up to Tacoma. The energy flowed. It was beautiful. It was powerful. People were crying. All kinds of things were happening. It was a beautiful moment. That was in 1978. Fast. What was that? Your birth year. <laughs> as, Lola, as Lola was born that year. <laughs> Fast forward. 1988. Second year of Agape International, something's concerning me. And so I do what I do. I go into meditation. And then I split. And I could see Michael meditating in his chair. And I said, he doesn't have anything to be concerned about. I'm with him. And then I merged back into Michael. And the idea, whatever, whatever was concerning me, the, I, the, the, the answer came. The, the wisdom came, the divine, the divine guidance came, and, and the right action was taken. Now, the difference between the two experiences, the guy on the couch and the guy in the chair, is that the guy in the chair was more integrated with the guy looking. He was more aware and integrated into the unbounded self, and the, the guy on the couch was nervous. It was it, it, that something was coming th uh, through him, uh, but later on in life, there was a great integration that was taking place, that continues to take place. That's called transformation. Transformation is when you become integrated with your highest frequencies, the insights, the revelations that are occurring. Many of the revelations and insights you've had during these magnificent people speaking, when there is an insight and you have self-discipline, self-discipline is about holding the space around the insight until it becomes integrated, embodied in you, and then you're able to say vibrationally, I am what thou art and thou art what I am. There is no split at all. You are here at some level because you're being called to integrate into your real self, not putting it to the side, but to come to a greater understanding of your oneness with the power and the presence and the love of God Almighty, God all beauty, God all joy, God all intelligence, and allow yourself to be moved into right action. 